So nothing I will tell you after this is what I have not tried, or my, my husband or daughter. It is what we have tried. It's tried and tested. There's no testimony as your own. And how can I speak with conviction if I'm passing um, on to you? It has to be tried and tested. Same with you. You try it and you test it. And you can testify. It becomes your testimony. And we need to share it. We cannot share it if it's not our own. So God is saying to us today, now is the time. We need to change. Is it? Absolutely not. But with God's help, with his power, we can do it. I'm a testament to it. And am I healthy? Yes, I am. Very healthy. You know, we had COVID. I had COVID one day. My husband had COVID two days. Why? With natural immune boosters. It is powerful. And of course, with prayer. So nothing is impossible. We can do it with God's help. So I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, have an open mind. You know, time is short and we are getting older. We want quality of life, but it comes with sacrifices. It, it comes with uh, surrendering, asking God to change us. So I want to leave you with this thought. Your diet is a bank account. Good choices are good investments. So every day, I will teach you uh, many things, how to change uh, many things, and it's no rocket science. It's all so easy, and everything is in the kitchen. So health is in the kitchen. I have video, um, YouTube videos of health is in the kitchen. That's my slogan, because everything that I'm going to teach you is in the kitchen. So it's not expensive, it's easy, it's doable, and it works like a charm. So may God bless us as we consider these thoughts and that we will realize that time is short and it's time. You know, uh, I listened to a doctor, uh, Loma Linda, 100 years old, and they asked him, Give, tell us the secret of your long life longevity and he said exercise of course amongst other things diet lifestyle but he said you know a fat person who exercises every day and a fat a thin person who never exercises the fat person will live longer than the thin person and we think that thin people are okay you know I'm not saying it's not good to be thin please don't misunderstand me but uh, we think if we are thin, we don't have to exercise. It's about weight. It's not about weight. It is about health. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we must be fat. It's what I'm saying is when we want to make a lifestyle change, we must, if we want to lose weight, we, our emphasis should not be on weight. Our emphasis should be on health. When we are healthy, automatically the pounds will fall off. Our emphasis should be on health, not weight. So I'm not saying you must be fat, but what I'm saying is we need to focus on health. When we focus on health, everything else will fall into place. Well, we will feel good, we will be motivated to exercise, and so on. So may God bless us as we ponder on these words and these thoughts. So every time, just keep in mind when you're eating, um, you are what you eat, and you want to live a long, healthy uh, life, um, quality of life. Um, not just quantity of life, but quality of life. So may God bless us. Let's pray. Dear Father, we thank you so much for your word that teaches us everything and about health. Lord, help us to realize time is short. And the health message is the end time message, Lord. And if we cannot put this into place, how will we be able to uh, live healthy lives, to spread your word, and to be good examples to the world? So empower us, Lord. May we, through the power of the Holy Spirit, surrender and allow you to work in our lives, change us into what you want us to be, that we will be living holy temples, to, for your honor and for your glory. 
We pray all this in Jesus' name with much thanksgiving. Amen.